Hello everybody, it's Virtual Truck Driver Diaries time, clap, 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 how are we all doing today guys, welcome back. Do you want an enhanced experience on ETS2? You do, or you don't? Make your mind up. Then ProMods is the map mod for you for ETS2, be sure to check on their website promods.net and as well as the British haulage packs for ETS2 guys they are the suppliers of all the trucks you see in virtual truck driver diaries so guys oh, what's cracking on I am behind the wheel of the scanner uh, yes I am because through the magic of YouTube well I won't lie I filmed the last episode about a week ago fully and I had it brought home I had the truck brought from Milan to Dortmund it cost me a fortune it took two days uh, it was in the it was in the um, repair shed. It's because the cat crashing into them flipping barriers. That the reason the engine was screwed. So right, it's all new. Uh, it's all fixed. I should say not new. I don't know why I said new. Just ignore the fact I said new. Um. So yeah, we're not in Milan. We're back in Germany. We are in Oberhausen, and we're heading off to England. But yeah, uh, the reason the truck was screwed is because I kept crashing. Now you're possibly going to see a lot of frame rate drop, and that's because I've got the third monitor hooked up. If you, if you if you follow me closely, you know I've got the third monitor hooked up now. Uh, I knew that was going to change. But yeah, so the reason that back in the scanner is because it's fixed. It was my fault because I kept crashing into the barriers I'm also extremely in the wrong lane uh, so that is around about up there it is as well as the wrong roundabout um, is there traffic lights over there? if there's traffic lights over there I might go yeah there is so I might as well just go this way um, so yeah but thanks for the magic of YouTube uh, I am now actually on present week well, not well, I sort of, I'm um, literally a day before the first 12 hours fire racing. So, um, oh, thank you for reprogramming the sat nav. Um, frame rate keeps getting bad, I'm gonna come and drop the, some of the graphics settings. But, yes. So because of the magic of YouTube, like I said, it has been a couple of weeks, so the truck is fixed. For you guys, you literally see Milan last week, and then, come on, you see this. So yeah, I'm kind of out of my depth here, because it's hard trying to explain it. But anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Let's take a look at where we're going. We, we are taking 20 tonnes of oranges to Tesco's in London. That's the wrong boy. I'm not gonna stop in time. Not gonna stop. Not gonna stop. Not gonna stop. Not gonna stop. Stop. We're taking 20 tons of oranges to Tesco's in London, and it's 600 and we'll call it 50 kilometres away. I'm gonna go and drop the graphics settings right now. I might actually wait till it's all over. If it's still bad on the table, I'm gonna drop it because it's gonna be ridiculous if we get into London. But, yeah, so, how are we doing? Yeah, the engine was ruined because I kept crashing. I'm not going to lie, then barriers in uh, Eastern Europe took a toll on the truck. And that sucks. I also just realised why it could actually be messing about. Um, I can sort that out in two seconds. Ago. So, yeah, it was my fault. I paid for have it fixed, it's fixed now, you know, jobs are good and let's, let's carry on. Uh, if you give me 30 seconds, you're going to see my Steam profile, so enjoy that. Maybe it should start working a bit better now. Of course, the screen glass could come in. But yeah, so it was my own fault. Um, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that because I'm totally lost for what I was going to say. Um, I'm going to go that third monitor with the 
Discord and the notepad to talk about the point. So I've got to, I've got a notepad saved onto the desktop to tell me uh, I'll write on it the points I want to talk about in the VDDD episode. So I've got a load of like um, you know abbreviated things written down, and I'm gonna try and decipher what I wrote. So yeah, Pro Mods update. It's close. It's currently at this time after speaking to Nico about a day ago, probably two, more like three. Hang on. About three days ago, I reckon. This is my crap maths. Uh, it's in closed beta. And that's all I'm saying. Um, oh, engine is screwed because I kept crashing. It's pretty self-explanatory. That one is. Um. Thank you. What's the what's the one say? Aha! I need to be doing more subby works with our subcontractors. So, and this leads into the point I've got further down. It says float the idea of having VTC having their own VT VTC featured episodes. So, a couple of weeks ago, you seen me just run um, AA trailers in that big that big episode, the IM thirty nine episode. My thoughts are to have a featured episode. So I've still got five subcontractors. I've got MSIC, Dom, uh, Miller Transport, DDS, A and A. So what I'm thinking is each VTC has their own episode. So every fifth episode, it will be their VTC. So uh, I've got a blank trailer on today. What's the focus idea about? So then my idea is. So for example, MSIC would have the whole have me pull their trailers the whole of the next episode. Then it would switch to another one. Let's go, for example, let's just say Don Pearson International. And then on the third week it's Miller, on the fourth week it's DDS, fifth week A and A, and then it comes all the way back to the start of MSIC again. So that's my thing, because then at least once a month every VTC gets their own featured episode. That's my plan. Um, I need to float that idea around for a second so I've got written down float the idea. <laughs> uh, what's the next thing to talk about? Ordering a DAF. I am ordering a DAF Euro 6 or 106 full Kelsa pack. I don't know whether I'm going to have it with tail lift or mid lift or just a 4x2 configure. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, what else am I looking for now? So yeah, they will get a full Kelsa kit there. Do you know why I'm like my Kelsa kits? If that's what the music on, sorry. Not a very nice one. Um, yeah, this is actually something I need to talk about as well. Um, Right, we all know that I love the Renault Range T, it's my truck, right? And I've run it a lot on this channel. And my thoughts are bringing it back. So what with your guys' opinions for But then I don't want to because of the fact that British Haulage Packs exclusively do all the trucks for BT DD now. So I'm thinking I'm not bringing it back and you know I'll just 50 50 in my head to be truthful. I'd like to bring it back but you know, only for the next update to come out of the game and it makes me lose it again. So honestly I think I might just you know say by the by and wait till SS SCS's uh, range T comes out. Which leads me into the new point the next point. Alright guys, so the license obviously the license is holding the Renault Range T up, it's done. It's in its wire it's in its wireframe, it's all been done. Alright. The thing that's holding it up is the license. Um, SCS did get close with having a license potentially. Um, but then the bloke left SCS as a whole, so he quit. I don't know if he's fired, he quit, or ended noticing or whatever, I don't know, I'm not going to speculate on that. But the Range T license is being held up because a new guy has to come in, he has to talk to three parties. So Renault trucks are owned by Volvo trucks in which turns owned by Renault or Volvo or another way. It's one of them two. So you need to talk to all three and get all three to agree. 
Well, he was close, with, apparently SS was close with a deal. With, uh, cause they've also got a deal from Renault and they've said yeah. The other company, which makes me think it's Renault, said yeah. But the third part of this license was always stalled, which is roller trucks. So I don't know, obviously I can't speculate, but obviously with the new person coming in, it's taken a while for him to catch up. Him or her, I should say, sorry, not just him. It's taken him a long time to catch up. And it will work, it, let's be honest, because you've got to talk to three companies, you know. So it, it will take a long time. I've got my water bottle over, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so it's, obviously it's going to take a lot of time like I said so please just be patient with SCS it's not their fault it really is because I know the other day they released their video um, I think about a week two, probably two weeks ago now and sorry I'm on a drink and it's the Man Euro 6 is it CGS or TGX? It's one of them, so um, the new Euro 6 man coming. Unless we're completely wrong, because I think the lights are in the wrong... From what I could see, the lights are in the wrong place for it to be a Renault. I could be wrong. Hopefully, um, honestly, hopefully I am wrong. And it is a Renault. But, so yeah, you, you have to understand, guys, it's a three-part... For this license, for the Range T, then it is a three part segment and part one and part three is okay, it's just part two that's not. Excuse me. Free fuel. Yeah, gravity. So please, 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 I know I've been saying this for about two years now, but please just hang on with us here. So, you know, it's not their fault, it really isn't, and they're in an awkward position as it is enough anyway. But with the way that, like I said, the live stream works, it can't be done until all three parties are happy. And obviously party two's not happy. Which led just to the Volvo trucks. But like I said, just bear with them, they are trying their two artists, it's not their fault that they're blown down. So they're just trying to do what they can do guys, so, you know, a little bit more time. If it ain't in my summer, I'll be personally be writing emails and ask it more. So just give us, give us yes to the summer if you can email or something and see if we get a definitive answer. But yeah, then lights turning on the So yeah, that's, that's the state of play at the moment, guys. Um, Coming up with Brussels, which we love. Where is this? Is this episode three of Brexit? I don't know if he cares. Got to come into one. Got to come into the deadline soon, I suppose. So yeah, that's, that's the plan anyway, guys. So. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this segment, so I'm going to bid you an adios and I'll see you on the train. See you in a bit. Hey alright guys, welcome back. We're just gonna, I've just got some fuel on in England now. Just got some fuel. And uh, I'm going to whack this up for a chilli section. Um, so we can go and have a look and see what New look London looks like. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to turn the music up now. Leave a mark on that one.
Come on, boom, boom, off again. To quote Pete Owens, who's the um, truck driver who makes YouTube videos as well. The first couple of kilometres after you've dropped are the best. The, tr the trailer's light, truck's a bit light on fuel, or in my case, I've just stuck however many litres it was at Silver uh, Silverstone. Yeah, Silverstone, how I many folks can really? Ah, I've gone side the road already. Nah. Sorry, I'm not from this. Well, I am from this country. I was just saying, I'm not from this country. I'm a tourist, but I am. I'm English. Come. Oh. You come. Back to where it all started. Right. South Circular, yes, please.
foxhole. Shit, speed. Alright, after I pick this up, I'm gonna kill the camera and sort the graphics out. So I want the third screen I've got a lower the game graphics. Yay, little red telephone box. That's what I like about pretty much guys, them guys know how to do mapping. Oh, I was gonna wait for you, but there's traffic coming on, so I'm gonna go. American truck sim. No, I might do some work on that. I might do some ATS videos actually. Alright guys, I'm gonna kill the camera now and I'll be back in a minute. Here I go, here I go, so I'm doing nothing back. Just picks up the load now. As you, as you know, we're heading off to um, Southampton, so I'm not going to say anything and let you enjoy the new Pro Mods roads we're going to go on. And I'm going to turn the music up for you, so let's turn the music up. Enjoy, guys.
Is a load done. There's another load done. Boink. Boink. I think I might have done it. I pressed the button. I pressed the button. Oh, uh, there's going to be no drops here, so... Let's go to Ireland. Come on then, let's go get another load.
person. It was a good job I wasn't singing because I've still recorded. That's all. That's going to be awkward, isn't it? But yeah, guys. So just going to knock this off this segment. I'm going to. I am doing this little to Island in the episode. I just didn't realise I was still recording. I thought I'd turn it off. So I drop off. I will be well on the road by the time you see me again. See you in a minute. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you are doing well today. So as you can tell, it's been a couple of days for me since I last recorded the segment you saw 30 seconds ago. It's actually post Bathurst. This is how the eyes I got. It's actually the Monday of the week. So if you're watching this on release date on Friday, it is Monday for me now. Which means I've got to like film three episodes really for this week. But uh, yeah, so it's post Bathurst. Now, uh, there's a lot of you that don't really care about my eye racing commitment. So, skip this bit. I'll give you the price. Well, so, uh, yeah, so now I'm going to talk about Bathurst. Uh, so, the, the eye racing Bathurst 12 hours this week, uh, this past weekend. Start at the green flag dropped at 13.45 GMT. And one of my new teammates, uh, Zai, he put the car on pole. And uh, his one lap speed was quicker than his one lap pace was better than mine. Um, so he put it on pole. Um, Bathurst is a weird event because you, if, you, if you know your motorsport and endurance, you know that most of them start on, well, in the daytime. Bathurst is different. We start in the night and go today. So, roughly about 48, 55 minutes in that sort of segment, the, um, the sun comes up. And that first hour that Zai was in the car, he was amazing. Yes, I did just able to shoot that in zone. He was amazing. Uh, absolutely bossed the field, put us a lot in, uh, a, a considerable lead in for us. And uh, I jumped in the car, had a semi okay stint. Uh, so I got back in the car. Nothing too dramatic, really. Um, it was fifth at the time. And I got back in the car, and that's when all the hell started to break loose. Um, I managed to get up to third at one point in the, in the fourth stint. And we was passing a back marker Ferrari down Conrad Street, which is the back straight that runs into the chase, if you know about this. If not, it's a very long straight that goes up and down, coming into one of the fastest corners in world motorsport. And Australia, uh, and Australia's fastest corner on a racing circuit. And that was all fine. We got past them on Conrad Strait, coming to the chase. And as I took the left handed part of the chase, everybody shouted stop, couldn't stop in time. And I had a car come and spear me that was, uh, it's obviously had an incident or something, and he's come across the grass. But because the chase is such a high speed, if you cock it up, and if you cock it up and you get onto the grass yes I did just overshoot that one as well if you get onto the grass you just ain't going to slow down and it puts you back onto the path of, of the racetrack and that was fine we got over it we was rejoining trying to keep out of the way and we had an Audi dive bomb me which was, it was okay right but what pissed me off next was an Audi dive bombed me going into the final corner and yeah he spun right in front of me so I had no choice but to square him I uh, managed to get the car straight so it was a straight on impact not that shouldn't damage the wheels or anything uh, steer him straight so we kind of just 
you know, carried on, go back into a rhythm. Yes, I was extremely pissed off. And I did shout that loud that I actually hit my chest. Um, I won't do that loud, I shouted because my next one said she could hear me perfectly, as if I was stood next to her. And then she goes, but the stream's seven seconds behind, so I heard you finish shouting and you started shouting on the stream, and I was like, yeah, sorry. It's like nothing I could do, and she's like, yeah, I know, but, you know, language. And I was like, oh, I'll try my best, it's, you know, it's tea in the heat at the moment, you know, give me a break. But, um, so, managed to get that hellish stint done, so I went back in the car, uh, and he was just amazing. Um, he did a couple of stints in the end of the day to, to, to General Tiso and unfortunately he had an incident coming down into the dipper that meant he played ping pong off the walls. It's not his fault, it happens, I was close to doing that a couple of times. And he played ping pong and it damaged the car a lot so we had to go in the pits, we was leaving at this point as well. Um, we've been leaving for quite a while as well. Um, obviously he was in the pits for about 18 minutes I think it was. Uh, sorry, I'm just moving my mouth out of the way in the drink. And it dropped us, I think it was two laps off the lead, so we rejoined like 13th or something. Uh, the lads managed to battle through the, the night and get us back up to ninth, I think it finished. But I just want to say, I'm so proud of my whole team uh, in the car as well as the whole team because, you know, without without them, we we wouldn't have been able to, you know, sustain our focus enough. So I just want to shout out the whole HCR team. And hopefully at the time this goes out, Zai's hopefully a HCR member. Um, so yeah, I want, I would really like Zai to become a team member of uh, Habitat Racing Esports because, you know, he, he's earned it. And he was fantastic. But, you know, it's uh, up to the heads of HCR and Zai to sort that out amongst themselves. But Zai, if you're watching this, mate, you know, my car's always open for you. But, yeah, so it was uh, an experience. Uh, we're actually, I'm actually not doing Daytona, well, if you're watching this in day release, tomorrow is the Daytona 500. I am not doing that, I've had to withdraw. Um, my license isn't good enough for it on our racing because yeah, our racing is split into four so you've got oval you've got road you've got dirt oval and dirt road so dirt road being rally cross and obviously don't do that much dirt. Um, so I haven't, done, I haven't got a dirt able license, I haven't got a dirt road license. I do have a license for D class for road oval, uh, for tarmac oval, if you get what I mean. Um, but that's not good enough for 500 commitment, so I won't be doing a 500. Excuse me, and I probably won't be doing Tally Day of the Charlotte 600 or Bristol 500 neither. Which sucks, but well, unfortunately, it's the way it is. You know, they've got these rules, I respect the rules, I understand the rules, you know, I live by the rules, so, yeah, it sucks, but it's not happening, which is, which is fine, actually, I can do with the rest, to be truthful. But I was, I was actually really looking forward to doing it, actually. But, you know, it, it is what it is. So yeah, still going to be fun. So the next enduro is in March. It's March 1st, March 2nd for 12 hours of Sebring. And um, that's in Florida. Which I'm looking forward to. And hopefully it's a good, it's a good race. Good, where we go? Good job, Keith. Oh. There we go, good job, Keith. They really want 
کلاه به دست کردی بزر چون این کشه رو بیان بگیه yeah, so thank you to everybody who come and watched um, it's really appreciated uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did uh, I did actually fall asleep so if you're looking for the stream footage guys it should be up by now if it isn't it's coming out this weekend if you watch this on day release um, I might have gone to sleep after what, 9 o'clock I was asleep downstairs but that wake me up at 10 and he said look I thought you were supposed to be doing the stream I was like oh yeah thanks for reminding me of shit I left it locked on chopper cam and I came upstairs and I sat in the seat that I'm in for my rig and uh, the next thing I know is my alarm going off at 2am so me that the uh, race had finished so I'd slept here from about 5 past 10 to about 5 past 2 should we say for example it was mad it was ridiculous but mad at the same time and you know, I can't, I can't fault the lads for anything because they were amazing. It's just that the, um, it's just that the stream was a bit bad at the end. But I'm new to this whole live stream in Malarkey, guys. And to be brutally honest with you, I am considering moving BTDD to a streamed series. So I'll obviously record the episodes like I do now and then I'll release them on Twitch and then I'll release them on YouTube. That's my thought. But I'm not too sure to be truthful. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that really to be truthful. Uh, what else are we looking for? But yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're coming into the beautiful land of Wales, home of the sheep, and a very sad football team. Um, respect to Cardiff City for keeping strong. You know, he just bought a player that could save his season, and unfortunately, he dies in a plane crash, and that sucks. Um, but the way you held yourself together, Cardiff City Football Club, which we can both respect for you. But I'm going to show up now and we're going to enjoy this drive from Cardiff down to, I think it's Fishguard we're going to, let me just pull up the thing on my bob. Oh yeah, we've got 23 tonnes of beverages on board, but I think I showed you that um, just before I ended the episode. Sorry guys. 555555. Five, 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 five. Uh, I can't tell you exactly what board it is, I think it is Fishguard. If not, it's Hollyhead. No, I think it is Fishguard. But anyway, I'm going to go three songs forward, I'm going to turn it up, and I'm going to sit here quietly while you enjoy your chili to the port. Enjoy, guys.
inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Take my eyes open to force reality Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinny Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Ireland. Hope you're all enjoying it so far today. So we're gonna do I've got change my mind actually. I'm gonna do a chili up to Dublin and then this is gonna be the last little bit for this episode. And then we will get a job and come back next week. That's my plan now anyway. So I'm gonna turn the music back up, I hope you enjoy it, and I trapped my uh, foot in my brake pedal and then I pressed my brake like a dick. That's why I was shouting. <laughs> because that really really hurt so enjoy this extended chili i'm gonna go two songs forward one two there you go let's go to ireland What a place to put a sign. Sorry.
it's just fired Switch get to yeah, we just come through fish guard so the um uh I didn't think about coming through Holly at one point. But yeah, I don't know what's causing the um frame rate drop guys, so I do apologise. I thought it was me and I changed some settings and it's still not done it so sorry guys about that, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging in. I think it's because it's the third monitor, um honestly. Uh, if that's the case, then I'll just uh, turn off and record it. PTTT. So it's doing it now, and it's not my fault. I do need to throw out a load of mods, though. I'll probably just make another mod profile. Let's make another PS2 profile for 134. Because I know um, Pyro Mods and. Um, Got the Baltic C DLC on playing those together at the moment. No guys, I don't have an update on that by the way, just report you at the start of the episode. If I did talk about it at the start of this episode, I don't know, it's been too long. This is beautiful Dublin, guys. Well, part of it anyway. I forgot they used. Oh, excuse me, I forgot they used come on over here. Oh no, I'm in the bus lane. That's a big no-no, I know that. Yeah, I want to drive in the bus lane and camp, but I'm not. Because I know at Derby they're really bad on the hatred of driving in bus lanes, trust me. I've witnessed that many, many, many times outside the into centre. All the shopping centres are available. Yeah, I just don't give a toss, so I just drive it in the bus lane. Right. Sorry guys, I was trying to rush that traffic there. That other one earlier on there, I got the flipping fine for, that was... No, that's not what I thought it was. I thought the entrance was there, it's not here. Thank 
you to the game for making it clear and obvious where they want my truck. Round we go. There we go, that brings to the end another Virtual Truck Driver Diaries episode. Oh, knocked me while I'm on the floor. I forgot a presenter now as well, I know. So I've been so, so used to just press the trailer button that, you know, don't have to, to press anything else. Why aren't you taking the load? Oh, you are. Going in a little bit of moment again. Six hundred and seventy kilometers. Finning game trip time of fifteen hours and fifty two minutes, and it was beverages. And it was 23 tons. Thank you to everybody for watching this week's episode of the Virtual Truck Driver Diaries series. I will be back next week with another episode. Take care, guys. I'll see you again next week.